So let's write some processes, okay? Here's how we write processes. First, we identify the goal, okay? In the case of our road to the sale process, our goal is easy, sell a car, right? And then we work backwards from there using simple steps, right? We start at sell a car and then we work backwards, okay? Selling the car is the bottom. We work all the way back to the first step of the process and then we smell test the steps. What do we mean by that? I mean, we give them a, a smell test. Are these steps necessary? Does, does step three really help you get to step four? And then we ask, is this a great process? And what do I mean by a great process? A great process is one that's loved by employees and your customers. And so we're gonna look at that on all the processes that we write. So let's talk about the internet sales process. Remember that is a CRM process. What's our goal when we get an internet lead? Our goal is to get a connection, get the customer on the phone. So that's our goal. We're gonna work backwards from there. And this is an incredibly short process, right? Here's our connection. And here's the attempts we're gonna to make to connect, and here's where the lead arrives. That's the whole process. Lead comes into the CRM, we make some connection attempts via email, text, and voice, right? And then we get the connection. That's the process. So let's write the steps, write the when and the what. So here's my 2017 internet sales process. Now it doesn't have the templates in it, but I wanna kinda of go through this. We're gonna smell test our steps. I decided based on watching my clients based on looking at CRMs, based on how long it took before people reconnected and whether we were realistically selling a car to someone we sent an email to 90 days after they sent their lead, that we shortened it to 45 days. That's what you see on this graph. Our calls only go through the first 15 days. Now, the emails are on the top of this, of this uh, continuum. The phone calls are on the bottom. Now you might say, Steve, where's the text message? It's, it's in there, it's not written on here, but we're gonna do one text request if we're doing text the right way through our CRM. We'll do one text request on day one as well. But the nine emails are basically an auto response, a day one personal response, that's the email that's in black, and all the rest of those red emails, those are all automated emails on days two, four, eight, 14, 22, 31, and 45. Simple, okay? Our calls, we're only making nine calls now. On the whole process, the whole 15 days is only nine calls. We're gonna make two calls on day one, a call on day two, three, four, five, seven, 10, and 15, that's it. Because remember, by the time you've made your sixth call, you have reconnected with 93% of the prospects who are willing to reconnect with you. And by your ninth call, it's something like 97%. Now, we've smell tested the steps, they all make sense. Now we're gonna say, is this a great process for employees and customers? I'm gonna say, yes, it is because your employees will actually make these calls. The problem with our longer processes is employees were faking the 23-day call, the 30-day call, the 45-day call, whatever it was, and they weren't making those, okay? What, else, what other, also makes this good for employees is all those automated emails. They're not spending time, wasting time, typing out an email or even having to select a template, put it in the CRM and shoot it off. Those templates go out automatically. All they have to do is call people and after 15 days, they bury the dead, they move on. Now, is this a great process for customers? Well, it reconnects with them, right? And it puts the emphasis at the beginning of the process. It puts the emphasis early on when the lead first came in, there's a lot of emphasis on connecting. There's a stat out there that the, that the dealer who connects first with a new prospect is 238% more likely to sell them a car than the dealer who connects second. That's why the process was written this way. So is this a great process? I don't know, is it easy? Is it easy to follow and easy to explain? Is it simple? Yeah, it is. Is it intuitive? Do the steps make sense? Yes, this process makes sense. Is it repeatable? Absolutely, because it's a CRM process, right? As long as we get in the CRM and we enforce it, it will be repeatable. And is it effective? Will customers and our good employees love it? Notice I said good employees. See, your bad employees are gonna fight everything that you wanna put in place. Do not worry about them. They can go work for someone else, okay? Listen, if, if somebody can't work with us, again, it doesn't make them a bad person, it just means they're not a fit.